Well, it is Tuesday. We are getting closer to the sale. Uh, I just sent an email, an internal email, just talking with Wendy and Kelly and, and sending a message to Eric asking everybody for their thoughts on how um, we should proceed with the sale. I talked last two weeks ago um, about staking, about insuring, about um, costs for the sale. And when it comes to the sale itself, I think it's pretty unanimous. People understand this year we didn't charge any uh, any fee like we usually do in June and July for harness because I had, really, I had enough. I didn't need to go out and buy harness. I'm not just going to build people just to build them. So uh, I thought the easiest way to go about it this year, because we will need harness next year. Obviously, it gets a little old. It gets a little beat up. So I figured the easiest way to do it was just to have a harness, uh, I guess, just a fee. Uh, it's going to cost us, I think, $697, so 700 bucks. Um, per yearling when we buy the harness one. This should cover everything anyway because there will be some good harnesses next year also. But I want to make sure that at least our babies heading into the stake season um, you know, have their own harness. So that will be one thing. Secondly, the staking for Ohio. This sale, the other sales are going to be difficult. We're going to have to uh, think outside the box a little bit and brainstorm because the industry itself has not picked up the importance of staking in or around the, the sale time, and I think it is inevitability, and I think it's something that's very, very important, it's something that we are going to do in-house. We know that our horses uh, in Ohio, for the most part, we just stake our horses in Ohio regionally. That's what they get staked for. Now, we can still add staking in February and March if we want to, if we really like something, or maybe that premium horse really looks like it's training down like a killer. Uh, we'll only have six weeks of training into it, but you know what I'm getting at. Um, we can put uh, we can put additional staking on, but we know it costs around. I think don't quote me, but I believe the number is around twenty six hundred twenty five dollars, twenty six hundred seventy five dollars, somewhere in there. Um, Joanne Staking can can chime in and give us the exact amount, but I think regionally speaking for Ohio, this is the cleanest sale because for the most part we stake. In Ohio, that's the Ohio Breeders Championship, the fair race in the middle of the summer. Uh, that's like a, I think it goes through. It's it's uh, scheduled at a hundred and some thousand, but it's by division. It's usually around sixty grand. Um, that would be two fairs: the fair championship, the sire stakes, and the Buckeye. That would cover all of the staking for for Ohio horses. Those would be charged at the sale. I will just pay Joanne staking and say, here you go, take it. Um, when it comes to uh, insuring, I'm a little torn. The only way we can make this a value-based effort was to say uh, we're going to insure the horses and the stake payments on top. That's only insuring the other $2,600, I guess. Uh, but we are going to insure. I, I believe the easiest way to go about it is to insure the whole horse for the year. I, I'm not a big insurance guy, but man, did we ever need it last year? Um, You never need it until you need it, I guess is the way the insurance brokers, uh, you know, you always want to have it just in case, I guess, and we did need it last year, unfortunately. So, um, I again, I have to nail down the quote, but I believe it was 2.8% for an annual policy, and that will include whatever we want to insure the horse for, um, and uh, the staking for the horse also. I guess that's the best way to look at it. So that's what we were looking at doing, and, and I think... Uh, I guess we're only 72 hours out now, uh, less than that, much less than that, uh, 60 some hours out now. But the Ohio sale is the cleanest one because we don't got to worry about Breeders' Crown or all this other stuff. It's mostly just Ohio. And we can focus on some added stakes later in February, March. The whole thing for us is I don't want to be asking you because I know it, it worries me and stresses me out in February. I think our staking bill for the stable in February was like 180000 American. It's a lot of money, obviously, for anybody. And when you've gone through Christmas and now you're into the new year and you're into these, for me, tighter months, um, it's just not something I look forward to. I would rather do it at the sale and say, here's, you know, the, the money that I'm going to need for next year for that, you know, for for uh, for harness, for staking, uh, and to insure my horse and just there. It's into my sale price. I know what I have into the horse. Especially when we, if I do my job, you know, we're a value-based purchasing company anyway. And if I do my job, hopefully those savings will be found. Uh, those savings in the purchase price of the horse will help offset and mitigate the costs of 
insurance, of harness, of staking. I think that's the best way to go about doing it. And I haven't really heard anybody um, voice any reasons as to why we wouldn't. So I think that's likely what we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I think that's likely what we're going to go ahead and do. So for me, to you, if you have any questions or if you have any opinions uh, that might differ from what we've been talking about, this isn't official. It's supposed to be an official. But I do want to give everybody that, that going once, going twice, sold feeling, you know, the hammer's up. I need everybody to speak up if they have any issues with this because just because I think it's common sense and I think it's the right way to go does not mean that it is. And I want to make sure that everybody is comfortable when we move forward in sale season together. I want to make sure that we're all comfortable in what we do and how we do it when it comes to approaching these yearling sales. So that is my video to you. I know that Kelly's going to be sending out some literature over the next day or so, uh, really firming up what we're trying to do, how we're trying to do it, but you guys know the score, you guys know what we're doing. We're trying to get our horses, all our ducks in a row, and I thought for us, if we could find a way to um, take away those those bills, and they're not going anywhere, they're just being paid at what I would consider a more appropriate time, but take away the, the as much of the February, March, April stuff as we can, because I find it rather taxing, and I'm, I'm sure you do. Uh, as well. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Um, as I said, doors open. Drop me a line, send me an email, text, phone call. I know there's going to be some people um, writing in and I appreciate it because I think this is a, a, a one of those pivotal moments in uh, in the model and the operating system that we are as the, the stable.ca. So feel free to drop me a line, call me, text me. You're on the clock. So hammer will drop soon. Take care.